<sighs> Shin Mosh Tenshi. Time to get going with a little bit more new Zelda. How exciting. So we're here on Havra Mountain. Got the sword over there, fun. Let's keep on going. Good stuff. Hmm. I think. Oh, and right, we gotta put a Frazier down so I don't freeze to death. Some stuff up here. There's an ice whiz robe right over here. What's all of this? Hmm. I do want to try fighting that ice whiz robe with the help of that firework cannon. That would be a nice idea. Figure out where to getcha. Firework. Firework is good. Hmm. Come on. Let's figure out where to cannon you. Oh, that didn't quite work. Come on. And. Oh, I need to put another Frazier down. Okay. So, like this. Let's get all of you out of the way before we fight that Grizz Robe. Hmm. This robe's over here, more or less. And... Is it? Yeah, right over there. Okay, I just gotta figure out how to best... catch it in the act. I... Oh, wow, that was... really not great. Okay. Hmm, I... Dodge... Ah. Hmm... Forward can is a nice idea, but I... Uh, really, really annoying. So, I could just try using something like Ice Proof. I'm not sure that would protect me from the damage. Hmm. I... Noctata won't do much. You could always just get hit again. I don't want to do that, though. Hmm. Piping Hot, maybe? Maybe. I have a lot of healing options right now. Okay. Hmm. I think about what would be a decent two cost option with some kind of range. I it might just be this needle fly. Maybe. Okay, I oh okay. Come on. Come on. Needle fly and dodge. I hmm. Come on, please. Can't even get hit all that well, can you? I guess not. Yeah, it goes low. It's something that's only good at attacking things that are below it. And that is actually awful. Hmm. Just trying to think. How could I hit that thing? Fireworks can't is definitely the best idea, but that does not mean all that much. Hmm. Good. Try to get more chill stuff and then. Drink the milk. Oh, but that changed the effect. It's really annoying. Okay. Cool. Let's just put down some of these then. Okay, that seems to work, kinda. I. Uh, where then? Let's hope you get somewhere I can actually adequately get you. I. But you're always over the water. Annoying. Uh, that, Oh, okay. Let's try to trap you, maybe? And just, just trap... Uh, Alright. Did kind of work. Kinda. Oh, please. And it, am I losing the effect somehow? Or... Oh, goodness. At least we got our fairies, but still. This is actually awful. Come on. Hit. I... Huh? Okay. Dodge, dodge. I... Uh, how many... Hits do I got? Well, we did it. Thank you. You burned it down. Okay, well, you should be gone forever now. A mighty caster of ice magic, this creature warps across the sky, freezing enemies with frigid blasts. Okay. I... How many fairies do I even have in the bottle? None. I honestly would want to... Go back to... Fairy Fountain. It's good that we have a good amount of insurance, but that was actually pretty tough. Okay. 
I seem to know how to wise the firework cannon. Let's just get in here. Two fairies in the bottle. Let's back out and find another two. And... I seem to have gotten healed a bit by something. Ah, uh, okay, so you get a little bit of healing in addition to bottling the fairy. It's very, very convenient. Should be another by that pond, and then we can go back to stupid land. Judging by the space occupied by an accessory slot, I would imagine that caps at five? That would make some sense. So we'll see. Come on. Thank you. Cool. So now we got three. I wouldn't say unkillable, but should be alright. Mm, and then back up here, I suppose? Sure. Mm. Main thing is, I wonder if Tower of Hero is going to be up here or not. Or if the tower is just gone. Okay. How many rupees do I even have right now? 142. So I guess I could work around trying to get many as possible. Okay, let's pull you up and fill this ice Octorok. Okay, it's about as strong as the lava one. This is when the ice Octo Echo. This monster freezes foes with icy spit, the cold within it leaks out of its head. Huh. Okay. That works there. Let's see if anything else is around this way. I know there was treasure chests. Let's go and check. Let's do a treasure check. Come on. This is... Treasure chest. Gotta pull this out now, though. Or actually, I could just dive in. That's right. Yep. And this is... Okay, just a red ruby. Hmm. Question right now is... Do I try to get more accessory slots right now with the rupees I have, or do I make more smoothie recipes? Honestly... Can't really decide. Okay. Hello. Hello. Just like that. Toss. Firework. Boom. Okay. Lots of water in here. This could drop down. But. Uh. Oh, well, sometimes you just go in the water, it seems. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Could send the needle fly down. Yeah, for things you want to hit from above, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Send a couple of you. Please. Oh, goodness. Once you get frozen, we'll just change them out. Okay. Alright. 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 Just go ahead and kill, please. Or not. That actually hurts a lot. Okay, go ahead, do it, okay. Now we're no longer chill-proof, it's a bit annoying. Okay, now we should. Maybe we could try our ice-proof. Yeah, that should also do the trick, it's just a stronger version of the same effect, more or less. Okay, might need to make another potion that was the thing. Hmm. Come on. Let's grab you. Firework cannon down. Okay. Another one. Okay, cool. Just gotta drag a few more of you over. Got this ice octo. Pull you in. Okay. There's a piece of heart over there, too. Uh, Get up here and get this. Can I? Bads would work. Of course, we could just use other kinds of blocks, but that works too. Oh, but... To make the brazier... Well, that worked. Okay. Just gotta melt this step by step. I can pick that up without too much trouble now. Thank you. Oh, not like that. And... What if there was a random enemy in here? It'd be funny. 
Okay, nothing. And that should be another heart container. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright. And over here we got some more stuff. We got you. Alright. Go ahead and... Oh, goodness. We need to draw from a bit closer. Okay. Cool. Alright. I... Oh, it does appear like that gave us immunity to its damage. Nice. Wait, that rock is nothing. Let's keep on going through. This is... Mm -mm. Waterfall. It's over there, though. Oh, Ice Octo. Come on. Oh, that did do a little damage. Not that much, but still. Mm -hmm. Dive in. Might actually end up eating one of those golden smoothies soon. Okay, come on. Let's take you in. Chop you up. Thank you. Hmm. There is... That. Waterfall's down there, and it seems to kind of stair-step down, which is interesting. But... Coming back up might be a bit annoying. Hmm. Do you honestly want to check that, though? We'll see. Just gotta remember. There's a cave. And, oh, we got a zero. So to take you down would be fireworks. Cool. Oh, alright. Hmm. Okay. Oh, alright. That breaks. Let's see. And did a direct hit. Monster stone. Okay, cool. Alright. All right. Hmm. What would happen if I broke every single one of these? Of water. Mm -hmm. That's. Uh, well, the best way would be put blocks down on them. Razor or something. Yeah, sure. Cheapest, actually. Be an old bed. Yeah. Oh, but that might not be enough weight. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, if I do that. Huh. Well, okay. Two spread out. Guess that could make some sense. Let's put wooden boxes down. I just want to see what happened if I broke every single block tile in here. Hmm. Break, 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 break. Oh no. Break. Okay. I oh, interesting. Stuff there, 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 there. That's oh goodness. Come on. Luckily, no damage from falling in the pit, but. Right. Alright. Goodness me. Cool. Just gonna put. Break every single one. Hopefully they'll give me something for my trouble. I don't know. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Oh, no. Break these. What's gonna happen? Answer is... Probably nothing. Yeah, okay. Let's actually just use the crawl to Thank you. I'm going through here, and that would be another way to get a zero, I suppose. Oh, we got all these air currents. Okay. Mostly just about moving quack. Okay. Cool. Big old jump, and what is that thing? Huh? Interesting. Presumably, I would need to actually kill it. Mm -hmm. Send some flies in. You can be killed, I imagine. Be done this way. Yeah, okay. See how the repulsion. Hmm. What could be done? Something that can fly. Also, maybe just guineas. Bunch of guineas. So I don't think they deal 
damage in any real way. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta wait a bit then. Figure out what this weird repulsion ball enemy is. Hmm. Go ahead. Oh, but there's some poor timing on your attack. Okay. Gotta figure out where the aggro window is. Okay. Kinda. Seem to be kinda stunning it. Kinda. Well, never mind. Sometimes you look out. You know, you're gonna decide to actually attack. There we go. Cool. Okay. Just gotta figure out how to get across here. Like beds would be. Oh, goodness. That's would work. Just gotta. But this is directly above as possible, and then we can fall directly down onto it. Let's get that. And this is the Gust Master Echo. Entirely immobile, this unusual creature intermittently blows gusts of air strong enough to lift a person off their feet. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Let's. We kind of got stuck. And where will this send me? Okay, it does send you back here. That's good. Otherwise, can't imagine that would have worked all that well. Oops. Hmm. Kind of sliding. Let me see how wide this gap is. You probably actually want to bounce on the Gust Master. Maybe. Try this jump one more time. Okay, that actually worked. What if I go up here? This is... Aww. Like something like a... Giro or a Keys. Let's try this. Take me anywhere, or...? Seems I might need... Go down a bed down the staircase. Onto this, more or less. Okay. That's... No, not like that. Not like that. Come on, Keys. Oh, please. Please. Oh, goodness. Table. Does the table do the trick to him? Mm -hmm. Figure out. With that keys, get back over here. Okay, and this. Let's not do anything especially different. Okay. Never mind then. Here we are with. Oh, a lot of ice keys. A lot of ice keys. I mean, well, two. Whatever. Gotta grab you. There we are. Firework will do it. Best anti air. Fun. Okay. Cool. Now we can get that work again. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Oh, but there are more enemies in here somewhere. Question is what they do. Come on. And oh, it's just random souls. Okay. Melt all those. Melt. Melt. It'd be funny if it is just one random Zol we also have to kill. It does seem to be that way. Send this mob went in. Cool. And that's how we're supposed to get through, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, Freezards. Oh, so I guess this is a bit of a combat chamber. Interesting. Well. I would imagine. Should instantly. Imagine. Instant freeze if I'm smart about it. Just gotta get behind you. Okay. Yeah, one tap with fire. We have to make sure we can actually hit. Where the freeze are to echo. Three. On spotting an enemy, this monster will blow out icy breath as it implacably pursues its quarry. Okay. And, mm, but only if you hit. Okay, should do it. Yep, one hit. But otherwise it will freeze things in place pretty much indefinitely. Okay. Let's melt the rest of these just for fun. This icy combat chamber. Uh, sort of up one and... That's just a random... Sword Moblin. Okay. Come on, get over here. 
Yep, and now we got in things time so that Argot will block all of his attacks. And he will block none of ours. Cool. And that brazier ready. Melt this ice. I wonder this will I wonder this will take me. Ah, oh, pumpkin. That's cool. I suppose. Thank you. And keep on moving. I might like to save us some rupees to see whatever's in Hyrule Castle. Oh, hello. Hi there. Interesting. I. Alright. I... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Cool. Cool. Make sure you hit the right one. I... Come on. Uh... Make sure both of you get hit at once. That'll be really efficient. Okay. Cool. Nice. Nice. Go in. Another another slash. Okay, I oh goodness. Ooh. Time to heal. It's not gonna take me though. Also, there was that other pathway that I didn't go down, and I wonder if I'll be able to get if I go that way. Either way, eight hearts and I've only done the first dungeon. That's sixteen pieces of heart collected already. Wow. Just see you. Yeah, 16 pieces of heart, 47 my crystals, 16 stamps. I really do wonder what the reward for the final stamp card is gonna even be. Oh. Nothing to do but sleep. Uh. Well, I guess I could chug a smoothie, but uh, not my style. I do wonder where this cave is going to let out. How much brazier you should employ. But yeah, this is the old bed. Gonna be a regular bed, maybe even a good bed, a royal bed. I wonder where that would even be. Yeah, hey, I don't know, it's Zelda's room. Somebody to go back and actually see what's in the castle. That's where I'll go next, because going to Gerudo and Jabu would be. She ain't taking me dangerously close to actually progressing the storyline, so... Nah. Come on. Come on. Okay, thank you. Go back through here. Some of the ice respawned, but not all of it. Cool. I wonder if the enemies in here will respawn in the first place. So it's just this. Okay, so what's in here? Red herring. Thank you. Let's grab that and not this. It. Oh, there was a treasure chest. And we got. Oh, more monster gods. Six handfuls. I do want to see what kind of potions those give me. Hmm. So gold gives you basic effect. In addition to full health restoration, the stronger effect comes from monster guts. Wonder what the other options would be. Fireproof. What would evolve the effects? Oh, we got more. Okay. Huh. All right. Doesn't seem like you can get that as an echo. Oh, right, because we got climbing speed. That's fun. Come on. That is actually rather convenient. Wonder how that stacks or doesn't with health with the potion effect. Oh well. Alright. Go ahead, fall. We will let our mob do the dirty work here. Thank you. So strong. And basically is our weapon. Oh, more ice octos. Awesome. Uh, let's drop you down. Okay. Go ahead. Thanks, all right. And another slash, that'll do it. Cool, get that one. Over here and, what is that ice up to? What if we went down here? Okay, nothing. For a second, I thought it'd be something. Hmm. And, doesn't break that pot. Okay, so we sort of stay. On one side, yeah. 
dodge them by changing your direction. That's fun. Or of course you could just use ice proof. And I oh goodness. Oh. Well, you could also just use a block to move things. Yeah. Imagine that's a smarter way. Hmm, but that only goes that direction. Is the thing. I just wanted to place this and move it over. Block at least one of these up. Oh, interesting. That's not great. Hmm. Okay. So, how would I best get up here? Oh, you could always just try ice proof. Try tanking it or something, but. Yeah, I. Hmm. Okay. I feel like an ice proof potion would be a way to make this work. Actually, maybe an ice block would resist the ice. I feel like that's an idea to try. Hmm. But of course, I need to actually move this over. Okay. Yep, and the ice block blocks the ice. Okay. Hmm. Up here we can get to the top of the mountain. An electro apple. And so much to me. I do wonder what else could have actually blocked that. Hmm. Maybe the freezer? Maybe an Armos? I don't know. Maybe a boulder. Somehow I feel like rocks might not have actually been able to stand up to it. Maybe. And here we are at the peak. Cool. Well, almost. Almost. Let's put that firework down. Go ahead, go ahead. Please, please. There we go. Okay. Cool. And, oh goodness. Mm -mm. Nice. I went down here. And, oh goodness. Thank you. This should do it. Nice. Okay, and we got that too. Nice. Razor. And what is that? Also, these seem to be bottomless pits. Huh. Also, this whole grassy area down here. So that's around where business scrub is. So what is actually going to be at the top of the mountain? Crazy to think about, especially since we got whatever these eye enemies are. Aw. Let's... Oh, goodness. Laser. Laser is evil. Okay. Oh, no. Don't like this. Oh. Maybe I should just try to run on through, try to find a waypoint. This is very intimidating. Let's climb up that. Do you get the feeling that I should make another potion? But... Hmm. What else do I have? I... It may be time to just drink this. Yeah. Popping hot and subtlety. Okay. Come on. And... Alright, go ahead. I... Oh, goodness. That's gone, but... How weak is that thing? Is it? Probably not. Okay. Go ahead. Well, Chop you up. But the freezer seems to be... What is this? You are a... We're in the Moak. Oh, those are from Zelda 2. Fiercely protective of its allies, this floating monster fires eye beams at foes. No one to protect, it calms down. Oh, so that's how that works. Giant snowball. Okay. We're in the snowball echo. This large ball of snow rolls quickly downhill while it's painful to be struck by. It's surprisingly fragile. Oh. Get up there. Probably a bad idea. Hmm. Dodging, you can actually see the tracks that weave, which is nice. Go to check. Down there. Hmm. 
avoid these rolling snowballs. Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. So if we got caught, presumably trap us. Stuff up here. There's also a piece of heart. That's fun. Okay. No, no, not that. Bed bridge. Bed bridge. Okay. And bridge. Bridge. Thing over there. Got a piece of heart. It's healing at least. Alright. Nothing there. Which way are these gonna go then? They probably track you at least a little. At least a little bit. I okay. Ah. Alright. Let's get back onto its climbing wall. Thank you. And I come on. Let's just see I ugh. Fragile is the right word then. I but the way that works is annoying. Let's put the brazier down just to melt this and see what's in here. Maybe a my crystal? Yeah, there is one here. Cool. Nice thing is... Anything placed in the way will break. The snowball. Okay. I, well, at least it actually doesn't forcibly knock you down the mountain, which is what I honestly expected it to do. Here we are at the top. Huh. Now we can see what's at the top. The answer is... Who knows? More snowballs. Something there. Is that gonna be Hera? More stuff over here, too. Hmm. Also this bit. Huh. This goes back to where... Those snowballs were coming down. Let's just check this out then. Very interesting. Ice proof. We have a teleport so we can come back here easily at least. And 50. Not bad. Mm -mm. Definitely want to save we sum it up for Castletown. And this is rather conspicuous. Cannot imagine this would be nothing. Okay. What if we climbed up the top here? Probably nothing, but still. Mm. Yeah, nothing, but it's very pedestal-like, is the thing. Oh, but when you get to the spot the snowballs were coming from, it seems that they stop. Rather cowardly of them, frankly. Or maybe we'll see that they've been being thrown at us by someone from somewhere. Maybe. Let's try going up and... Yeah, I'd keep coming down from that way then. Okay. Let's follow. Hmm. Top over here. I feel like it's going to be a Yeti. We're going to have to fight him or something. And then he'll see reason and become an ally of a sort. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, these are really confusing me to see where all these are coming from and what their purpose is, why I seem to be actively impeded in my trip up the mountain. And who would, who would do that and why? I will melt all your ice, so take heart in that. Come on, melting. So we need some time. And if it's broken before it melts, all the progress melting it seems to go away. <laughs> Alright. How much more? Go up here and that stops now that we've gone up here. Cool. Love you. Okay. Twisted. Ah, and this is what takes you up to the top. It's going to be at the top then. More snowballs. I'm rather invested in solving this mystery. And... Oh wow, it's just Donkey Kong. It's fun. Right. This down and cool. Right. Keep that distance. Oh, Monster Stone. 
Go ahead and get that before it maybe despawns. Okay. And of course, you could always just tank that. Mm -hmm. Until this passes under and get up under the next. Cool. Go under me. Over this way. Nice. Out of the way of this, but of course we can just use echoes to block it too if you feel that bad. Okay. There is a chest. Oh, and some kind of Twi'less. Hmm. Okay. Kraltula, I mean Strantle would probably be. So way to get up there. Can slowly bridge across. Strings are showing us that, but we can ladder over without too much trouble. Go ahead, break, and take this. This is... Oh, just monster fangs. Okay. Cool. And they're still falling. Alright. Oh, and it snaps that. Interesting. But it doesn't actually one-tap them, which is more interesting. Well... Bomb with a zero should do this pretty well. Okay. Spam these pretty much. I what kind of are on fire now? Interesting. Huh. Okay. We can keep spitting bombs by spitting out more zeros. Stay for a bomb, we toss more in and are they immune to bombs? They might be. I mean, no, they're just really durable. This is the... When the Temper Twi'less Echo. When attack, this rage-filled rock monster moves much faster and heats up to scorching before cooling again. Hmm. I wonder if the Ice Octo might be better there. Either way, there's a hot screen. Should heal. Yep, there we are. Yeah, that's ice water. Not as good. Interesting either way. Ah, and another teleport point. So it's at the top of the mountain. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Now, Rob, you want the brazier. See what's at the top of the mountain, because apparently it's not the Tower of Hera. Okay. Huh. Anything actually up here? The answer is absolutely nothing. Wow. But once we need to actually be here, we'll just be able to teleport. <laughs> That's going to be kind of funny. Let's check down here then, maybe. Is that little copse of trees? I didn't see. Maybe a way to get to and this is this gonna void me out? Probably. Yeah, okay. It's a void out. Get over this way then. I guess this might actually maybe be the best way. Eh, probably not. Eh, we'll see. So I do want to craft a few more smoothies with the other things I've picked up in the meantime. We got some pumpkin related options. This is healing, that's right, I can teleport you to heal whenever. Oh, but maybe the fairy spring might also be healing me. It's actually pretty similar water. Okay. It's a lot of pumpkins, let's craft them with everything. Pumpkin and river horse. P. Alright. That's... Smoothie. This is... You got a mixed twisty smoothie. A nourishing blend of assorted ingredients on a flavorful pumpkin base. Right. Actually, let's just craft this with everything we haven't crafted with before. River horse and guts. I bet that'd be water breathing or something. We do have exactly enough guts to make one of everything, though, to be fair. Oh, well, it's crap. Okay. Cool. Not actually. A few more things. Grapes. Grapes and... Pumpkin and guts. So it seems that some ingredients can basically be ascended, but not all of them. This is another mixed twisty smoothie. Okay. 
There should be a blend of assorted ingredients like flavor, purple pumpkin base. Grapes and guts. Probably gonna be disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. Answer is. More crap! Okay. So things without innate effects, presumably, do not turn good. Apple. That this would be. Something like. Apple and pumpkin. Electric and immune. That could be nice. This is. Another mix, twisty smoothie. Now it's just the same. Okay. Apple and guts. Soup. Got it. Hmm. But only three more ingredients I haven't found. This is, you got an electro potion. Lightning proof. Okay, drinking this tingly sweet and sour potion can prevent electric shocks. But. Oh, okay, so the only way we can make the Electro Potion with it is with Guts. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Let's craft peppers with other things. It's already there. Nectar. Nectar and pumpkin. Nectar and Guts. There are three more ingredients somewhere. Hmm. That is... We got a sweet twisty smoothie. A floral scented delight defined by its tongue melting pumpkin flavor. <laughs> that with guts will probably be crap, but discovery is difficult. Alright. And now we got crap. Yeah. Okay. View. Get rid of it. Cool. And milk and pumpkin. Now we're getting guts. I wonder what Rock Tato would do with the guts. Mm. Smoothie. This is. We got a milky twisty smoothie. A nutritious bent blend of milk and pumpkin that tickles the tongue. Mm. Now we're getting guts. You got it. You got it. Answer to my question is. More garbage. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Keep on looking. Potato, salt, potato and pumpkin. Okay. Let's check this out. And we get another mixed twisty smoothie. Okay. Actually, hmm. Not in guts. Let's see. And this is a it's more garbage okay so it seems that the pepper is the only one that actually has differing effects huh. salt and pumpkin see can only have one effect after it once this is a salted twisty smoothie but energy has its own overlap the salt is a surprising finish on this scrumption, pu scrumptious pumpkin smoothie. Scrumption punctuous. That and guts. Probably disgusting. Okay. And it's yeah, huh? Huh. That's actually rather surprising. Get rid of the energy-related stuff. Ones that aren't that good, we can get rid of. Yeah, okay. I read most of these twisty ones. Okay. Put the salt, butter, and pumpkin. Okay. This is smoothie. And it's a ra pumpkin radiant smoothie. A cream, creamy rich smoothie with pumpkin hollets that melt, that melt on the tongue. Okay, make sure we have every option because it automatically selects itself too. An order does not matter. So just sneak our way down. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Fortunate when mixed with itself. Milk. Nectar. 
butter, butter and guts. I wonder if that would do anything. Hm. That's that's a yeah, it's trash again. Hm. Ice proof is good. So is electro proof, I suppose. But oh, we haven't done pumpkin with itself. We've done a normal true pumpkin smoothie yet? Okay. And we got smoothie. This is just a regular twisty smoothie. This thick, sweet smoothie melts on the tongue and sticks to the ribs. Is it mixed with anything so it's nothing special? Kind of mix it up. Take this together, this in the guts. Okay. And this is. Yeah, it's just more garbage. It would be interesting if there was a hidden effect we couldn't see yet. Even if there were three together. But it... They didn't hide key twisting, even though I literally don't have any automatons yet. Okay, guts and guts. This is gonna be garbage, right? Some sort of secret monster potion. No, it's crap. An expensive crap, too. It'd be funny if you could deliberately make them. No real reason to, but... That and that makes unfortunate. This probably makes unfortunate too, but that's science. Get all of those combinations in. Just gotta wait till we get our other ingredients and more golden eggs. Hmm. I'm gonna check out my recipes, honestly. Alright. Recipes, we got all these options and lots of them that are skipped. So I'm wondering what the next ingredient is going to be. Probably something from Presumably Jawbull and Gerudo, but still. Okay. Nothing that warms me at the moment. Oh, that warms too. Makes sense. Well, I'll take damage, but that's fine. Climb up here one of the trees. Keep on going. Keep on going. I'm afford to take this damage. In fact, we have to. And that's gotta be a my crystal, right? Right. Crystal. Okay. Might makes right crystal. Might crystal makes right crystal. Thank you. And, yep, my crystal. Cool. Got a my crystal. Check the rest, just to be sure. Don't imagine it'll be much, if anything, but still. We're grouping. Hm. This, this, I... Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, please. This? Guess I might need to just put an Ignizel down here. Yeah, it was sort of off tile. Mm hmm. A pumpkin. And oh, there is another cave just right here. Huh. Okay. What's in here? A new kind of tectite. Interesting. Honestly, the best way to kill it might be. Running it mid jump and using fireworks on it. Go ahead, at, okay. Nah, uh, mid jump and. No, on landing at mob one, so this should be a tectite level 2 or something. Alright. Don't attack much. Thanks, and tectite level 2. Learn the tectite level 2 echo. While it has a thick shell and sharp leg spikes, the single glaring red eye is the dominant feature of this tectite variance. Hmm. And freezing. I did not expect this cave to be here. It's a good thing I looked. I see. And, oh, more of you. Okay. Hmm. In that case, let me think. Honestly, maybe just a couple of ice octos. If we gonna freeze you more or less. I think we'll be okay. I Ah right. Perma freeze you and keep you still. That's good damage too. Okay. And we're not to Oh goodness. There we are. Go ahead. Well let you get shot at. Thanks. And it passes through the others, which is good. Nothing like a good. Keep that guy still. 
I... Let's just heal the smoothie. We got a lot. Hmm. What am I willing to part with? Part with the rapid. Okay. Honestly, really disappointed that there's no special effect to that. It is what it is. I, okay. Alright. And we're taking more damage from that, too. Okay. Come on. I, ah, please. I've got to figure out a good way to get that guy. I Honestly, it's probably Fire Octos. I wonder if there was going to be some sort of annihilation reaction. Never used our Lava Octo until now, so it's pretty far away. Those might actually be good, too. Laser. Laser. Hmm. Not that... It's actually rather strong. I... My little buddy. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, keep shooting. Dodges pretty well, too. Oh, goodness. Come on. I... Oh, lord. Come on. Why are you down in the water? Go ahead and float. Okay, dive. Set up combat chambers. Really something. Oh, golden getting used up right now. Easter gonna come from. We don't need gold for much of anything. Okay, cool. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead, keep shooting, and it is quite nice. Cool. Okay, that's open back up. We can see what's in here. Answer is a ah ice spikes, so you don't slip. This footwear with spikes that stick into the ice, wear them to prevent slipping. Hmm. Footwear with spikes that stick in the ice, wearing them helps prevent slipping. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Let's just keep moving. Find our way out. Stuff. Grapes. Cool. This could be used as a recovery item in a pinch if I felt like it. Nah. I don't need to be at full health. It's not like I got sword beans or anything. Mm -mm. I... Get over there. Interesting. No, we want the Giro to get over there. Maybe. Not even sure I could. Giro, Giro, Giro. Yeah, yeah, you. Okay. And lift. Come on. Nice, wool. Well, gotta come over here and... Well, never mind. Okay, so to get over that way... Come around this way... Hmm. Well then. Okay. Could go back after pressing up this smoothie shop just to check that... Little bit of waterfall, maybe? I don't know. Again... Hard for me to imagine it be much of anything, but we can... Slowly heal up. It's better than a bad. Somewhat. Okay. Cool. Very relaxed. So I suppose I will keep moving. Can actually go to Hyrule Castle now, but I think Kakariko. Could go do that dream trial now that I can spam bombs. Kill a bunch of Karomadillos that way. Sure. And... Seems that some of the ice keys may have stayed dead, but not a lot of them, that's for sure. Okay, and... I just see... I... Okay. Alright. No, we already went up there. And there should be nothing new. Let's just go back to Kakariko and then go back to the castle, I suppose. Hmm. To the slumber dojo. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so we got to the top of the mountain, and... Yeah. There's nothing there yet. Guess the Tower of Hera just fell down after that long. This thing's said to happen, I guess. Okay, yo. Mm -hmm. Go in that dojo. I wonder when we'll get that katana, and what'll we even do? Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Wake, wait for me. 
there are still three more ingredients. I simply do not have knowledge of or access to. Hmm. Okay. Suppose I'll just keep moving. Some of these, of course, I can just eat. Gunpowder won't do anything at the moment. As we use it, it was a quest on Dream Disciple. Slumber's Pathway was long before. Care to do training? Okay, cool. Dream Options, Chroma Duel's Revenge. Let's do this. So the bombs are over. Actually, do this from outside. Just spawn them on the other side of the bars. Ha. Training, skills low, no drinks or items that restore hearts. Okay, cool. I don't feel especially inclined to. Okay. Nice. Cool. Keep tracking bombs. Cool. Thanks. Aye, it's pandemonium. That's for sure. But, once they start dying, we'll be good to go. I'll make sure that radius works. It's like a kill pen. Okay. Good stuff. This is definitely manageable. Question might just be the dark nut. Okay. Go through. I think this would be more or less time to do this manually. Okay, cool. Thanks. Alright. Slash. Slash. Okay. Nice. Slash. No, it's just the dark nut. Go ahead. Take him out. Cool. Nice. And it's too far away to even attack. Fun. Hi. Cool. Slash and there. That's it. Cool. That's your reward this time. Yeah. Open your eyes. Bombs were great. Oh, well done. Only one minute, one second, 0.46 seconds. That's even faster than the gold time I gave you. That was great slumber. Let me give you a reward. And okay, just monster fangs. Just got five monster fangs. And now you dream big and advance to another level. Training is like the whetstone of sleep. This prompts, I've got something astounding for you. Recognition of your sleepy progress. Ah, piece of heart. Cool. Collect four and your maximum number. Yeah. If you pass your training just two more times, I'll have an astounding reward for you. If you're looking for new training dreams, I'll need to go have some more experiences first. And that means story progress. Okay. But I imagine that that katana is going to be the basis for the final sword upgrade or something. Well, it's time to explore around the moat. What are these rips are doing and why I can't go in here yet? Go to the moat around Hyrule Castle and then go in... Castle Town and the castle. Good stuff. Okay. Mm. Can I go under the bridge? No, you can't go under the bridge. Hmm. We honestly, Moa is real nice. The real reward for going all this way is probably just that Moa. And it's pure. I mean, the damage isn't crazy, crazy, but it's actually about the same as the Sword Noblin. A little less reliable, but still. It's from range. That'd probably be a good thing to maybe take down some Sword Noblins. Sword and Shield Noblins, but of course, it could probably be blocked, I would imagine. Thank you for that. A little overzealous, maybe, but thank you. Yeah, I don't have to ever worry about running out of it diagroing because I'm, it's devoid of allies because I'm always going to be here. If I'm not here, it's dead. Cool. Right, go ahead, shoot the fish. Right in the water. Wow. And this? Oh, and it can go in water too. Now that's really good. Go under there. Not that special, but it's really, really strong. Okay. My new best friend. An enemy that has not appeared in the series since Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Fair enough. So let's keep on going through. 
The fact that it's semi-aquatic is also very, very nice. I suppose that's basically a reward for going that early. Something that is rather strong, especially for this point in the game. Keep on going over, and that does seem to be... Can we go under here? Let's swim under, if you actually dive. Over this ring. With an inner. Doesn't look like there's a couple of Octoroks. Okay, and... Moa's here. Okay. Go ahead. It seemed to chicken out a little when it took that hit. Stay underneath and hit without having a surface. This flying ranged damage dealer with projectiles. I'd say it's almost a little unfair, but I don't really mind. Yeah, just go ahead. You can't touch me. Cool. A lot of monster guts, but they really have not been useful for much. I do wonder if some kind of... Well, there's a piece of heart just right here. Well, we'll come around here and get it anyway. I'm leave it out for now. I really do wonder if there will be... Goodness. Because it's, it's strong, but not crazy. Kind of opportunities to use this. Hmm. I wonder if the soldiers will get me if I... They see me. Because they are technically supposed to be looking out for me to capture me. Okay, there's a, an acorn guy there. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. Around the outside of the castle, but... I wonder what the golden egg would do combined with the monster guts. There isn't really any kind of potion. I feel like there has to be at least one sort of funny wild card option. I can't go under here, but it... Interesting, it's the center pillar. Can't go through. No, it appears they just have sort of... Tunnels underwater. Okay. Oh. We're looking for Princess Zelda by order of the King of Hyrule. I don't want to believe that she really made the risk, but we're ordered to catch her. Yeah. Okay, welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. I haven't seen Princess Zelda happy. If you see her, please let us know. There it is, and oh, that rift is still there, and there's also this big rift. Okay. Hmm. I can't imagine that we'll go unaddressed. Let's mark these. Yeah, but there's this house. I wonder what is so significant about that house to justify it being covered up with a rift, gameplay-wise. Who's gonna be there? I also wonder which house in Southern Village might be Lynx. Hmm. Yeah, that piece of heart at least. Chat with you. Hey, hi, and whoa, Acorn Gavin, give it a go. Find a stag, find a bag, get an acorn's never a drag. Pick up acorns are scattered about. Best of them get a prize. You got one try for 10 rupees, what do you say? 10 rupees, please. Time to gather. Okay. And how many are there? Bunch underwater, so. Yes, it's just Moa Town? Cool. Go. Okay, cool. Just keep up our spinning. Have to dive now. Cool. Surface. This is rather simple. So I wonder what the time target for what was presumably a golden egg reward will be. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Well, there's some special reward for getting all the targets. Nice work. You got all the acorns in your time. is 11 seconds, 0.78 seconds. You were amazing. All right, then it's prize time. Red Ruby. And while wow, that was lighting fast, so past the fact that you got a special one-time bonus, and... Oh, my crystals. Three my crystals. And visit me again and play some more. So the ones for whom I got the bonuses were... This guy and this guy over here, so I don't actually think I need to keep them marked. So golden egg, my crystals. 
I wonder if they're given independently or in some kind of sequence so that once you get all of them, get some sort of reward for having gotten all of the acorn challenges or something. It would be reasonable, but still. Here's a piece of art just sitting here. And for maximum number one piece. And yeah, we just need one more for that. Okay. For nine hearts before going to any non-tutorial dungeon. I could not care much less about the putative order of operations here. So, continue on our merry way. Back around and this is not open. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I'd be able to somehow go back the other way through that royal escape passage. Maybe. I actually could do a try right now. Should we go around the edge of town? Oh, Zol, Zol, Zols. Just need to show him different kinds of Zols. I can see that. Yeah, let's get up on top of the rampart. I, okay, that gets us up and over. Come on, keep taking the... Okay, whatever. Now we can just use the bed, so... I'll just do it that way instead. Instant bed. We have Hydrozoles, Ignazoles... Lots of things to show them. Ah, how to get up here. Nothing special to say, it seems. Go down around this way, maybe. Now we can get here. Just the rift. Hi. Yeah. Something's not right about the king's advisors and all these rifts, too. I hope things go back to normal soon. Hmm. Around that. But, seems that presumably the throne room's blocked off now. Hmm. Can't go over this guardhouse. And we can't go through this guardhouse, so I'll have to go over. Let's climb up. What about climbing on the castle? Hello. You are. The castle town is gloomy, so I'm on watch today, and I'll be on watch tomorrow, too. I guess that makes sense. Let's go down in town. Hello. Hey, you can't climb up here. I'll get in trouble if anyone thinks I let a stranger walk around like they own the place. And yeah, yeah, don't recognize me. So I can buy from this shop in a second. Dog, Zol kid. Orf. Hello. Zol, Zol, Zol. Hi, Miss Lady. I got a question. Have you ever seen a Zol? They're small little monsters you can find all around here. I saw a picture in the encyclopedia for my dad. Zols are round and wiggly and so super cute. Isn't it kind of weird that monsters can be cute? Well, I've only seen them in pictures, so I don't know. Maybe they're scary in real life. But I can't stop thinking about Zols. Uh, maybe if I could look at a Zol, I'd stop thinking about Zol, 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 Zols. Curious child, the boy's head has been filled with Zols ever since he saw them in an encyclopedia. His father gave him, tried showing him a Zol. Okay. So, put this Zol down for the first time in a while. Oh well. Let's show it to you. There, we had to do it a bit closer. There it is, that's one. Zola looks just like the picture in my encyclopedia. Oh, that wiggly body, those big round eyes, it's so adorable. Just knew it would be cute even though it's also a monster. Uh huh? Thanks, Miss Lady, I like Zoles even more. Oh, and did you know there's all different kinds of Zoles? There's even Zoles that are like candles. It might be good to see one of those too. Yep, so it progresses to see more. The boy was overjoyed by the Zole you showed him. Now let's see one that looks like a candle. Okay. So Ignazol. Hydrazol. I wonder if a buzz what would count as one. All right show you this. You can do them all in sequence. There it is. That's one. Oh my gosh, an Ignazol. It's totally different from the green Zol. It looks like a candle. But it's really hot. Wow, I think I'm gonna melt. Can people melt? They flame the ipes. You know, Zoles are monsters, but they're such interesting monsters. Thanks, Miss Lady. Now, Ignazol's even more. Lou, after all that talk, I think I need a glass of water so I Zol. Ooh, that reminds me. Have you heard of Hydrozoles? They're Zoles that get bigger when they run. Oh, that's why that giant one showed up once. I didn't know you could actually make them get bigger. Along the said she used to see them. Do you think that maybe you could show me a hydrozole next? A big one that's full of water. A huge hydrozole. The Ignazole showed the boy that monsters can be dangerous, but he still wants to see more zoles. And Stutton's curious about hydrozoles. What I'm wondering is... So about zoles, there's just one type of hydrozole. They're different from other zoles because if they get near water, they swell up real big. Mama told me that she saw something when she was little. I was wish I could see one. Do you think maybe? Big one full. I'll use the... Hydribit... Make it rain. I mean, the drip a tune. 
Would I be able to have it persist long enough to make the hydrogel swell up? Thank you. It's raining, so... Yep, and it will persist long enough. There it is, that's one. Wow, that one's huge. It's bigger than my bed. You know, there's so many kinds of zoles, and they're all so different. Some like candles, some get in water, and they go all big like food. What I want to know is how did the same thing become so many different things? Yeah, I know they're monsters, but they're really interesting and fascinating and cool. Anyway, thank you, Miss Lady. I like Zoles even more now. Here's a good thing my papa gave me. He's a heart. They're just my crystals. Okay. Yeah. You know, all the Zoles you brought are ones that show up in my encyclopedia, but I bet there's a soul out there my encyclopedia doesn't know about. I can't think what it would look like, though. Not right now, anyway. If I think of another Zole, though, I'll be sure to ask you to show it to me. Maybe Dark World stuff, then? Interesting. The boy was impressed by the giant Hydra Zole, even so, he's wondering if there's a Zole out there that he still doesn't know about. Yeah. Since we're showing me all those Zoles, someday I'm gonna be the biggest Zole expert around, I'm gonna be smart like Miss Left. Hmm. So I'd imagine I don't have any way to bring it out yet. I don't see anything that's sufficiently Zole-like. I wonder what the game's twist is then, if there's gonna be a dark world. We're in the still world, is there gonna be a true still world or something? Hello. If these rifts everywhere, I can't help but worry for the folks in my hometown. hometown. Small village east of here called Seaside Village. My dad's there living by himself. I hope he's okay. I'll have to check on him, but it's not as if I can take my husband and son there. Hmm. Good luck. Okay, and you. Book of Medora, man. Thank you very much for playing along with my son's request. We'll have to see him getting excited about learning. Oh, okay, so he would have said something. About his son's request, otherwise, probably. Check in here then. Mm. Okay, old lady. Oh well. They're calling me the Princess Zelda, creator of the Rifts. Even the king says so. Would the princess really do such a thing? Probably not. Just a hunch, but I wouldn't imagine. Okay. My crystals were nice to get, how well. How tragic, the princess going missing again. My child's been inconsolable. I'm too to be perfectly frank, I wonder where the princess could have gone. Can't imagine, I just hope those rumors going around about her aren't true. Can't go in here yet. Get inside here by using a bed. Okay. And that's... Oh, bottom of the well. It's a great spot for slacking off. Just standing here, not a care in the world, or a thought in my head. Where does this take me again? Ladder and oh, hello. Yeah. Right, General Wright doesn't seem normal. Sam goes for Minister Left. Not that anyone would believe me. It's so unnerving, I can barely focus on training. Right, it connects here. That's right. I forgot. It's been some time. It's actually went through here. Okay. Nothing there. Hello, random woman. I don't understand why the princess would do this to us, opening rifts in the castle town, and the castle itself even just horrible. This is... random people. We were going to stand there in the castle, but now they won't let us in. So here we are camping outdoors, makes me really miss our house. Our home has been that awful state ever since the rift got a hold of it, now I have to camp outside too, it's gone from bad to worse. Sad, we need something, please don't go near the rift until we investigate what's happened. But we can't even start until we get orders from the king or his advisors. They're not going to stop it. The king has stopped appearing in public, same for the general and minister. I heard that a rift opened up right inside the castle, right up inside the castle, it's to come up Hyrule. This. Interesting. Oh! I, okay. That's just like Link's Awakening. Statue. Has something inside, and what is this? This is. Oh, just my crystals. Okay, cool. Let's see if it's marked on the map then. Yeah, it marks inside there. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Alright, and... Now it's permanently moved off a bit. Just a bit. Oh, hi, princess. Oh, wait, you're someone else. Sorry. Ah, oh, she does kind of recognize, though. That's cute. The wisdom of children. Hmm. I'm moving. This is... The castle's on alert right now. I'm not gonna let some stranger in a cloak get through. Castle's on work right now. Not letting it here go away. Oh, go on away with you. So in that case, we'll have to come back later. 
It's a Zelda went away again. What if she never comes back? Hmm. That would certainly be sad. Oh well. I think our own Princess Zelda is the one behind all these rifts. What a shame. It goes to show people are capable of anything. But if you need something, you'll find him too busy to chat unless it's important. More shops. Oh well. The soldiers are searching for the princess because she's behind the rifts. First, they were searching everywhere to save her and how to capture her. This is bad. Bad. What are you, a sheep? I got him from the house. I'll some thought. That's my dad. He used to go on lots of adventures, but then he married my mom and he stays home now. Enough, I've told you not to say these things to strangers. So sorry, this is mortifying. Sorry for being mortifying. Settled down now, but my husband used to go on adventures all over Hyrule. Whenever I got worried for him, I went to meditate in the Northern Century. Sanctuary. Cole's voice plush. Okay. Let's look around. If I get on top of the castle, I wonder if something might happen. Hello. I finished the cleaning and the laundry. Next dinner, my uncle's let me live here a long time. Now, like that, he'll complain if I stay this busy. Hmm. Just a bit of flavor text. Shop, yeah. Are you from out of town? I don't suppose you've heard about Princess Zelda's whereabouts vanishing again right after she returned. I hope she's all right. Guess they haven't heard the rumors. Oh well. Here the road to Southern Village is open again now that the rift's gone. Just wish the rift in the Hyrule Castle Town would go away too. But I wonder if that's the final dungeon or something. Hmm. Let's go in the shop and check. There's something. Got butter and some kind of bracelet. Marvelous weather today, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've got the Castletown Noble Woman act on that. Want to get some spy from Southern Village scouting competing shops. Yeah. Please enjoy our store, Princess Elda Gone. We're so over it. What's going on? Hello, Mr. Shopkeeper. Oh. Welcome, what can I do for you today? Chat. Mm. Sir Princess Zelda is home behind all these rips. I can't believe it, but the king himself said so. Butter apple potion, check and oh. stone anklet knockback reduced. Stone so anklet lasts only have in stock too. But I can't buy that right now. Mm. Mm. Certainly, certainly. Well, I can actually sell some material. Oh. Let's see what I can sell. Mm. So a lot of these electro apples. Mm. Mm. I... I'll keep three. Keep four, and that's a good amount of stuff. Huh. Thank you. Keep... Sell 40, sure. Good money. Okay. So you can get some more accessories now, too. Back any time. Let's get this then. Let's throw some money. The scope is really helpful. I'll buy it. And got a stone anklet. If you wear this heavy anklet, it'll stabilize your footing and reduce knockback. Okay. Thank you for your purchase. And that's a heavy anklet that stabilizes balance. Running it reduces knockback. Go to the Great Fair. We could also. And so, oh, that teleport waypoint is right outside the town. And Okay, just purple potion. Okay. Mm hmm. Go talk to that fairy now, so I wonder what the final upgrade might require. Alright. Oh, wait, we can pick up. Basically, anytime we pick up smoothie material, it's like picking up some more rupees. We sell it. Alright. It's as healing as we have full bottles. Hello. Let's get another slot, Mr. Fong. Hello. What do you think we're really buying right now, anyway? Alright. Hello. Ah, uh -huh. oh, and welcome, of course. Can I help you? Make more stylish. 500 rupees. We're gonna polish your style. I believe that will be 500 rupees, if you please. Sure. How I adore rupees. And him, as promised, I'll enhance your style. So... Is there going to be another upgrade available, or...? Hmm. Her accessory limit has been raised by one. Hmm, with even more rupees, I can make you even more stylish, you know? Can I help you make more stylish? Can I polish your style? Last time, so 1,000 rupees. I was willing to be careful with rupees, think it over. Okay. Pleasure, dear. So 1,000 for the final one. Hmm. We could get to selling some other things. In the end, it's... I don't have many more things to spend on because I've spent so many on just 
making smoothies just to get my options fully understood, so would be the golden eggs. The other options would be four more. 64, 640 rupees left to make the other smoothies because it's crafting each four ingredients I have. Far in the few golden ones I've already made. It's still like 550 or something, maybe. Just for smoothie costs. Okay, let's sell. What do I have a surplus of? What's all but four? So 25. Okay, cool. All but four. It's 13. Cool. Cool. And then. Oh, those are actually rather profitable. Nice. Okay. That. Also pretty expensive, but not crazy crazy. Okay. Keep on selling it. Among enthusiasts. But I wonder if they're only for selling. Is there anything else I can do with them? 23. Cool. Alright. All but four. And of course we'll get more over time in the future, so. Hmm. Let's sell a couple. It should be not too much trouble to get some more too. This ensures that everything I can craft will be crafted. I mm. sell just a couple of these. Yeah. Okay. So only 31 more rupees for the final accessory limit upgrade. That should be attainable. Very attainable. Okay. In that case... What do you gotta say again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Right, right, the road. Southern village. I think I'll go to Gerudo Desert first though. Stay away from Gerudo Town, but look for stuff. Let's just get on top of the castle. See what there might be to find. Like that. Okay, cool. Go ahead, climb up. That works, more or less. Tower over there. Oh, come on. That basically worked. Okay. Oh, come on. Please, please. Uh, thank you. Take me, take me with you. Okay. Hang up top, or... Hmm. This is strange. Okay. Hmm. Where do I bed bridge? <clears throat> Over here. Okay. Take me up, take me with you. Very top of the spire is nothing in particular, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue poking around a bit. Just to see. I uh, never mind. Okay. Like this. Check the spires. Scared of the spider. Spire? More like spider. Okay. And it... Nah. Okay. So I guess it is just true to build your bus now. Can I chop these bushes? Let's see. Anyway, I do want to check one time. See if... The... Right over there. Can't break that. <clears throat> Went back to... The beach. Well, all right. <clears throat> Gerudo Desert isn't that big. You go around its perimeter relatively easily. Bypass everything after this initial little starting area. Bypass it, go around, go through. 
It's Oasis and then the desert itself, so that mimics kind of Breath of the Wild's take on it, interestingly enough. Let's just actually go on the wall. Sure. Yeah, but something might be in that starting area first. So maybe not. I do wonder when that horse race at the ranch is actually going to get unlocked. Hmm. I have 30 more rupees and I get... A... An upgrade to my accessories and the final one at that. Hmm. It's gotta be a my crystal. And, okay, more crows. Oh well. Oh, crow. Come on. There we are. Okay, cool. And that killed successfully. Wonder if there might be a waypoint around here. <clears throat> well, we can just jump this and... What do you know? Hello. Hello there. Cool. Should be fine. Hit and... Okay, there we are. Fire will kill you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Magical this. It's interesting to think about. Alright. Thanks. Alright. Hit. And... Get that done a little more quickly. Thanks. Alright. And one. And another hit. Just for posterity. I... Oh, that actually connected too. Huh. Alright. You're close, so... You know, honestly, I wonder how well the mode do. Just for sake of things. Let's learn cost type. Last use does seem to be the best option, but it's not perfect. There we go. Okay, so we'll go through and around here. Yep, just gotta keep track of that MOA. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's gone already, though. Pull this down. Ah, there was a little whip I had to get over. It's a purple rupee, and well, that's enough for that final upgrade, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's have you take out this crow. You're sitting duck now. Sitting crow. Hovering crow. I. Mm -hmm. Clearly, right there is a. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Moa, if I activate that teleport point, I think that's going to get me in range to actually progress the quest. I don't want that. Okay. Have to find some other way then. Hmm, I'm going to get that rock. Why well, not you? Rock. Jump out, take that. Can you destroy a rock with your Moa powers? No, we got to bomb it. Put another rock down. The bombs are... I'll sleep it quicker there. Okay, cool. Go and get that. Oh, rock soul. Fun. Okay. Eh, crawl tilt would do it better. Alright, crawl. Crawl. Till I. Thank you. I well, that worked. I guess. Another my crystal. Cool. 31. Not much to obviously do with it. Hmm. Let's start going on the wall. Right? Anything to avoid actual story progression. Thank you. These interestingly marked trees. By the way, rock over here should have a light crystal. Yep. And. Rock's just gone now. Okay. <clears throat> Keep going around this border. It's the sea end. It's the desert proper then? Hmm. That's the main quest. Got a cave here. That's fun. I... You know what? Let's go in now. I feel like it. Oh, and a Webble to Chromadillo. I Keeping it still would be a nice idea. We'll just cover you with bombs. Yep, that is nice fast damage. Keep something still and just bomb it perpetually. 
And you're the one who sees me right now. Make sure nothing falls off. I oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. Find. Find. I oh wow. Okay. Well, one's gone, but you know, we did so much. Okay. Cool. Need someone to heal. Not a lot of smoothies, but still. Yeah, just trap you in place. No reason to play fair. Cool. But if there even is a limit to my health, it's gonna be well to run up on it. Take it out one. Sure. At this point, I got stuff to burn in. Oh, that's ten pieces of chili cactus. Ah, this item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Chili cactus, cool bittersweet cactus, enjoyed as a dessert in desert. Use it in a drink, it grants the drinker resistance to fire. So that's the material that can only be found in here then. Okay. Interesting. Could try making some potion smoothies with that. Do a bunch of selling though. Mm -mm. So I'll probably get some try dialogue when we get some trialogue. Let me go through here. Well, trialogue, technically. In a linguistic sense, would be three people talking to each other. Okay. That's right there, right over the desert temple. Awesome. That's what I like to see. How many more? Lots of little rifts everywhere. Hmm. I wonder if I could break these bushes at all. It's breakable, or... Not this way, at least. I wonder if a zero could blow it up. It! They can't even be locked onto, so... Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can do much of anything there. If anything. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, we're expanding into... Where the desert... Gotta go around its walls. See what's all there. Cool. Mm. It, if I could walk onto that somehow, onto that little bush, I would imagine there was actually something there, but I can't walk onto it, so it's tough to say. Mm. A bit more here. This looks like quicksand of some sort. Yeah. Even more rifts. Huh. This is more bad territory than crawl to a territory. Crawl to it would be overkill and woefully slow for this. But, rather obvious might crystal. Yep, cool. Some kind of dungeon like thing over here. Okay. It's some kind of cave. Mm hmm. Okay, rid of you. Goodbye, rock. Set some pins. Need to get rid of some pins soon. What is basically three vertexes? Vertices, I mean. Where would I be willing to unmark? It's a good amount of stuff over here. Mm, not a crazy amount, though. Aw. Alright. Jobble's pretty huge. Legitimately. And I... Random rupee down there for some reason, but I... For a second I thought it might be a rupee-like, but no, it actually went away. Okay. Well, there's... Some kind of cave in there. And oh, well, we get inside and now try set something. Okay, well. Alright. Gerudo Desert. Story progress is, is irrevocable. Oops. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here, but this desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we can check around the area with the biggest rift. A rift in the Gerudo Desert. For a place where you can create an entrance into the rift that appeared in the Gerudo Desert, start by searching the area around the large rift. Okay, well... Searching for everyone goes over there. In that case, 
It's even more interesting. So will that progress or stop on its own? But... It's over there, so we could avoid that, I suppose. Oh well. It's more my crystals. How do you get up here from down there? It seems like it. Oh, we got more beetles. Okay. Let's drop this thing off. Yeah, okay. Get rid of all you garbage things. Come on. To take all of you out. Guess we would be... Definitely just balls. Yeah. Come on. And nice. One more beetle. Okay. Cool. Nice. There we go. And this just weeds terminates here. There's really nothing special to it then. Okay. Alright, uh, some kind of club moblin. Club moblin? I've never heard of a club moblin. Who join it? Hit. Hit. And die. Go ahead. Shoot. There we are, ends. Ah, the club moblin's new. Interesting. When the club borble echo, a brute of the northern Gerudo Desert, this creature bounds directly at foes and weighs into them with its club. Huh, okay. Let's keep moving up this way. Oh, and we can't check the map in here then. Interesting. Okay. Well, we can keep... Eventually, it seems that block breaks. Okay. Come on. Take me up here where I can see again. So actually, maybe staying on the retaining wall and simply... Come on. And that stayed despite Crystal being gone. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead now. Blow up. Everything around here. That's what's interesting. Yeah, so you could sort of avoid the sand by dropping directly onto a place you want to get to from outside. Like, is what's this? This is... A? Ancestor's Cave of Rest. Wow, it doesn't seem like I can go here. At least not right now. Huh. Hey, well, who's to say? Oh, the moles are here, so we can start. We can start digging. Oh, this is incredible. I have to pull you out of your mole hole. Ooh. Oh, and these are just same exact moles from. I think they were in. Went to the past too. Oh come on. Uh, surprisingly resilient. Okay, go ahead. Please kill them all. That was a little unreliable, frankly. Hmm. Oh, that's a hit, but... Hmm. Not if you get aggroed and get knocked away. There we are, and that's our mole echo. Nice. And we're in the hole mill echo. This monster dig holes in soft earth. Sometimes these holes can be entrances to hard to reach places. Uh huh. Nice. Well, that's good. I wonder if there would be any way to basically force it out then. Oh, you can fall through. Okay. Let's put this through then. And it digs. Okay. Cool. Should close up eventually, yeah. So, imagine that we're going to have to do some digging. Check to see where I can dig now. Sounds like it's going to be time to go back and dig lots of places. Alright, and go through. And, okay. All the way on the left, where I need to go. Like that. Red rupee. Just collect all of these. What if I... Dug in here. That just 
gets his stock. Oh, so being able to make bottomless pits kind of necessitates a way to, you know, not taking fall damage from those bottomless pits. Okay. That is rather cool and a new kind of pot. This is one of the Gerudo Pot Echo. Fun pot with vibrant colors to catch the eye. It is typical in Gerudo culture and has been for ages. Hmm. Oh, we got more peppers from that. That's cool. So, continue in here by going back to the entrance and doing more digging. Cool. Alright. Hmm. Just like this. All the way through. This treasure chest at the end. This is... Ah, a golden egg. Nice. That's fun. And how many rupees do I have? I will need to go back and... I have that many after I get that final upgrade. Hmm. Hydro Cactus. Right. Let's see how much I can do in here before that rift gets repaired anyway. Alright. Thank you. That green rupee, just for the sake of being thorough. Cool. And there we are. Probably could use the saran to get that out, but it's more fun when you actually use them all. So there is some digging I would like to do now. This is... Check that. Rest in peace, brave warriors. Well, clearly, especially since they get a sleeping nizzle here. Gotta light this. Okay, and... What does this do? Rest in peace, brave warriors, and... Huh. If I blow this up, could I? It's rather... unpleasant. Okay. Come on, come on. Thank you. Vomit. Vomit. Desecrate the grave. Can we dig through here? No, you can't. Okay. But I do want to check diggable spots now. Now that we've gotten our mobile. We could go around the edge of the desert first. That is reasonable. Hmm. It's not much of a fighter. But it's three, which basically means it takes up all of your echoes, but almost all, especially the start. But even if you had somehow managed to sneak out, you'd still be able to use it. Even if you've gotten here by sneaking out. I wonder if and what will end the sandstorm. I'll let us see through the sandstorm, maybe. Of course you can just come out of here. <laughs> Could the whole mill dig through here? No. Okay. Hmm. I just want to see. Got to check to see where digging spots I marked were. So remember a few of them specifically, but... Yep, this earth is too hard to dig anyway. Hmm. But of course it's important to remember and test the ruling. It's down there. Not much there, though. It's another. So now we should probably be a cave. Oh, we hold the cave, but oh, what do you know? Another stamp. Okay. Good stuff. I really do wonder what rewards they'll get, because piece of heart and then probably some vanity reward, I imagine. We've got eight more left. That's cool. Mm hmm. Sorts of digging. There's a cave there. Let's go inside then. What's this gonna be? Oh, we got tiles! Okay. Once you rise up, we can mark you. Oh, never mind. Copy you. Mid movement. Okay, cool. We're in that. And that's. We're in the flying tile echo. It's magical four tile flies at any who come near. If you stand on top, you can briefly fly with it. Briefly. Okay. Let's actually spawn around. Okay. Cool. I oops. Okay. Never mind. Nothing to mark here, but imagine that 
killing pit is. So it's all about dodging the trials. Okay, that's fun. Oh, they even have a directional market triangle on it. Shows their vector. There we go. Let's revive the tiles. Kid Icarus. The original Kid Icarus is some stuff like that, if I recall correctly. Come on. We could flying tile that. Come on. Oh, please. Come on. Come on. Mm, it's too fragile. Well, I. You know what? Moa. 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 There we are. Oh, that kill. Nice. Got a cross, we need more bad stuff. I could always try the flying tile, but yeah. Uh, actually, jump on it. Yeah. It's a direct route across. Fun. If I will aim. Oh, it always aims directly across. Okay. Of course, we could use a guinea for that, but that's stupid. Okay. Hmm. But all they know is the magic carpet here. Okay. But, that is rather nice. That could have been good to use somewhere. I want a silver rupee. You got 100 rupees or overjoyed. Bet I am. Okay. Well, escape this place. Nothing else to see. Okay. That's cool. There's another little cave with another little echo. Check around, make sure we don't miss anything. At least not anything worth getting. One of those borblins. Ah, oh, well, this is playing with something to do. Oh well. But not like that. And from there we get a my crystal. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go back up. That bridge. Eventually, I will get a water block. Should be a little better in some ways, but eh. wonder if that patch of earth will stay now. I can imagine it would go, but nothing else to dig from it. Okay. Cool. Cool. Hmm. Get the feeling that there's some sort of secret final material somewhere, even better than golden eggs, maybe. Platinum egg. I don't know. But there was one in Jabul. And there are also, presumably, also presumably something special with river horses there, so. Don't know what else, really. Hmm. Well, we can come around this way. That's where that wall ends. I. Hmm. Let's see. Left in the desert. It's an oasis there. Huh. Mark of this. Wonder what that would mean if we went to that waypoint. Either way, to get to that waypoint, we'll need to come back through here, so we may as well go to the lake. Yeah, that final upgrade, and then maybe craft a few more smoothies with those cactuses. Sure. Okay. All right. Fire resistance. Would have been kind of nice on Death Mountain, but other than that, it... Yeah. Final time. Hello. Wonder what else she might do once we get maximum stylishness. Okay. Hi. Last time, 1,000 rupees. Uh, Hi, ho, and welcome, of course. Can I help you? Make me more stylish. Oh, can I polish your style? Uh, hmm, this will have to be the last time, so I must insist on 1,000 rupees. Okay. How I adore rupees. And how I promise I will enhance your style. This is... Oh. One final accessory slot. Your accessory limit has been raised by one. I see I was right about your potential. You've become a genuine style icon. I've taught you to wear accessories. Choosing them is what you'll have to teach yourself. Can I help you? Make it more stylish? Yet more stylish. I've done all I can for you, darling. Any issues you still have are up for you to resolve. Chat with me? Style is extraordinary, my dear. I've taught you all that I can, which solidly also means I've charged you all that I can. I suppose I'll just have to find another young person stuff with potential and rupees. Okay. Pleasure, dear. Let's equip another. Mm. 
Skin brains is good. Ice is not bad, but it's all the ones I can really think of then. I wanna to talk to that gal up there who wanted to see the fairy. Anything you can teach me? Or Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, hello and welcome, of course. Can I help you? Can't do that anymore. Okay, so nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. Adios. So there's not exactly much more to really do with the Great Fairy, then. Okay. Let's... Actually, she's right over there. I'm just... Spinning my way over would be my fastest option, anyway. Talk to her, see if she has anything special to say now that we've basically maxed out our potential with a great fairy. Okay, nothing new. Alright. Oh, but we can remove this. Move, now that we got the mole, we can do some digging. Just gotta see other places of marks and earth to dig in. There's very conspicuous spots. No, no. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, right up. Okay. Come on. Come on. No, no. Thank you. Now we dig. And that's. Oh! Just a purple rupee. It's still nice, but still. Okay. Stuff over here, too. We can do some digging. Feels as if one of them should be a piece of heart or something similarly strong. Maybe. Maybe someone's stuck in a hole. So. Maybe here. I feel like it would be worth checking at least. These holes right over this way. Come on. I. Nothing. 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 And nothing. Mm -hmm. Get that. Oh, they're actually too wide, which is interesting. Hmm. That's a surprise to me. Fully excavate that, and nothing seemed to came come from that. Okay, well. Let's go that still marks, so we can just remove the pin. Might be some stuff up top on here. Maybe. Let's check. Now that we can dig. I feel compelled to dig. Alright. Full mill. And... Oh, come on. Please, please. Full. Full. And... Full. Nothing. Huh. Well, that... Let's try over here briefly. Just to see the eye. There! There's not anything. Huh. Well, at least our dreadful curiosity has been piqued. Should be some diggable options over this way. And you're still marked. Does let me clear out some markers, too. Okay. I think I was able to do uh, that Gerudo coffin, which is a little annoying. So we'll take a look at what's so marked. Just to see. Full mill and, yep. My crystal. Thank you. Bring you down and what else is here? Bring this way or Oh, what you can do is get them to fall in a hole, maybe. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah, just get over this way and drag you into the No 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 no. Oh I thought you now you fell in the hole. Okay, that was good. So it does work. Rather well too. Come on, Moa. Can you shoot up that high? Yeah, it's pretty independent of where the eyes actually facing. In any kind of angle or sense. A bit durable. Fireworks still a lot stronger, but not as set and forget. Okay. Come on. Digging. And okay, nothing. 
again. You always want to check. Check over there real quick. So this is... Yeah, that one. This is nothing. This was something. That's moored up. Funny more moment. Okay. And... Oh, goodness. Yes. And nothing. Crawlta. Well, to be fair, that would have been just fine with me. Bad bridge, I would imagine. Every time I want to heal. Honestly, I should just go to... That business scrub with a hot spring. Okay. Take me up. And I... Okay. Will pull me. That was scuffed. Okay. Come on. Thank you. And anything? No. Okay. Again, we tried. Number of other things to dig around there, though. It's a Yeti house. That's a big snow pile. Hmm. Remember, there was a couple of spots here in Kakariko. So I'll deal with that. And then keep looking. Should be some in Hyrule Field as well. But I do need to t keep track of what I'm taking pictures. Check my old pictures, because there's so many pins I was able to even make. That around here. This spot of earth is my crystal fodder. Yep. I think there was another one over by the other window, too. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that I think they are farmable. Was that one chest? No, I think that is probably a one-time thing. I wonder what would it give now, though. Thanks. And... Oh, maybe I just fall through. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, so... Single patch of... Earth, but... Nothing at all. No item? No, nothing. Huh. That is actually rather strange. That whole stayed. So we dig in here. And... Nothing happens. Huh. There's another spot over on this way. Get me into that part of that cave. Come up here then. Okay. Send the mole in. Thank you. And that's something. Here's a piece of heart. That should be another heart container. Yep, nice. Very, very good. Already got most of what we want. That really is nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, it was over this way again. Excuse us to break the other ones. In a while, so. Drop that down. Okay, that chest over there. Okay. Fun. And. Didn't damage that. There was nothing there at that point, so. I'm just gonna check for more potential diggable spots that I marked and took pictures of. Hmm. See, there was that cave. Saw that. There's one glade over here. I'm trying to remember everything that was something. Lots of places to dig in. One of those is an acorn guy. It's a bubble wall. I think that's what I marked. Hmm. But. Even though there aren't as many pins I would like as I would like, making remembering this a little tougher than I would like, it's always cool to go back and check stuff out. Okay, cool. Come on, Ma. I... Ooh. Mm -hmm. Fire is clearly a good way to do this, but I will not let you on fire because that was electrical. Okay. Cool. I... We can catch you on fire and then let the Moa do this. Oh, you're still dealing damage, but fire is a 
pretty significant vulnerability here. Okay. Well, let's have our mold take this up. And that's another mic crystal. Good. Cool. I just wonder when I get every single mic crystal in the game, is there going to be some kind of special reward? Kind of special acknowledgement of that. Maybe all the remaining ones in the katana are what you need for the final sword upgrade or something. I don't know. Okay. Horse is still right there. Let's go over to the spots I marked. What about that one cave? Some spots that could maybe be diggable, but it seems that it's only when it's one singular spot. Even still, I feel like checking. Right? And again, this seems to be nothing. Okay. Do a bit more digging. What is this nine spot? I this might have been a rock with a mic crystal before. I don't know. Come on. It seems like it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Over here. Some things. Check that too. Now that I can dig, it's hard to not dig. So now. Another rift over there. In between here and that rift. Should show me some things, hopefully. Check out these spots. Dig. 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 Okay, I do not feel particularly compelled to kill these ropes. So see, this is too wide. But I guess it's only ever when it's through so wide. It's kind of sad, honestly. Okay. Ooh, alright. Hmm. Well, okay. Come on. Come on. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. I'm begging you. I'm begging. It's strong, but... The time it actually takes to fight is... Annoying. Let's just... Send you down. Hopefully not much interruption can be done, but you never know. Okay, cool. Put our trusty Moblin down here to get to fighting. Cool. Check the couple of remaining spots. Another thing right outside of Kakariko, too. He's over here. I think there should be an actual spot eventually. I actually broke that, interestingly enough. Okay, cool. Dig. 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 Okay. Cool. And nothing. Alright. Hmm. There's one over there. No, because these ones are not actually diggable. I look kind of like it, but not really. Okay. I, oh, please. Get up top here. It, I, I've already fought all of you. I don't feel like fighting you again. Come on. Let's drink another potion. Okay. And over there, we can send our Mola friend down. Have you get shot at? Well, I, oh, goodness. I think it's going to be more a matter of putting a bed down in time just to get across. And then doing some digging. And getting the how to dodge. Come on. Well, it's not as if a bird can get stuck in a bottomless pit. That's nothing. Remember, there was one diggable spot. Right outside to the west of the village, I think. But all these spots are kind of nothing. But it's good that I'm checking, I guess. Mm -hmm. I got a lot for one more smoothies. See how many things I can make with this cacti that I picked up. And we got any of those diggable spots. This is actually nothing. Yep, it's too big to be something. It's only the ones that are exactly one wide. Okay. Let's actually go and fight this group of enemies right over here. And then cave over that way that 
I also thought to check, but I think that was just for the bombable wall, which means it's not really an issue anymore. All right. So there are lots of ways we could handle this, but I think the simplest way would be blinding you and letting them know we'll shoot at you. Okay. Let's see what comes out of here now that that my crystal is pretty much extracted. Okay. Well, they don't know how to reach me from here, so it'll take some time, but we can gradually just destroy them. Okay. Gotta make sure that monster stone does not disappear. Not sure that'll happen before the MOA kills it. Well, that worked. Alright. Hmm. Here is. That's the only other one. Okay, cool. We'll keep you still. Cool. One, two. Unbind. Whoa. Rebind. And. Oh, goodness. Come on. Go ahead, shoot. There we are. Okay. Now we can check what's inside here this time. Because I do not imagine they would let me have an infinite mic crystal farm. Oh, well, you never know. It's worth checking. Let's break all these boxes, because I hate boxes. And also MOAs, it seems. Rupee. Spin a collect. And go around this way. Yep. And moment of truth. What's inside? And yeah, it's just a simple red ruby now. We have my crystals in it once. That's a good thing. You get way too cheesy otherwise. Okay. And yeah, that is nothing special. That was just bumble wall. Okay. Got most of the stuff here. Scrubbed in stuff in Ferron. Mostly Ferragon. The only other. Markers I really got rid of was on Elden, which yeah, it seems that pretty much everything I could think to dig that I've access to at the moment I've dug. Let's go back here then. Can't wait until they give me something else to spend my microsoft on, but I suppose I'll have to. So let me. Mark. Well, that's already marked, I suppose. Let's go on the bottom wall, then. Okay. Oh, but once I get that waypoint, because I'm already here, so I don't want to just teleport back for no reason. I will make the remaining smoothie options. Come on. Don't want my rupees stolen. Go ahead. Two hits. No, actually, three. Huh. All right. Cool. Give me a great spin for my non-damaging spin attack, please. Oh goodness. I. Let's just keep moving out of the out of the way. I want to fight everything at once, not multiple times. Here we are. And will we get any kind of special marker for this, or what has been recorded? Now we're here's in the map, and... Okay, it does not seem like <clears throat> this marker really goes away until maybe we complete everything in here. So let's actually go back to Hebra. Make some more smoothies. I'll leave more ingredients. Hmm. So for the cactus, and... and once we get every single recipe in the book... You can upgrade the scope further, or... Yeah, probably not, but still. You can hope. Thank you. Talk and smoothing. <clears throat> we got all these chili cactuses. Let's combine this. With all in order. And that. And this is a... Oh, cool. Got a cactus smoothie. Refreshing, crunchy texture, and sweet tart flavor set the smoothie apart. Fireproof. Oh, so maybe this would get something out of the gods. Fire immunity, maybe. Crunchy and sweet tart. <clears throat> so, chili cactus and grapes. Mixed cactus, maybe? 
Should get a decent amount more just being in the desert. Something's gotta drop them. And this is actually just a refreshing mix. Okay. Cool. Alright. Got an apple. Apple. This with pepper. That'd probably give me something undrinkable. That's... Okay, just a mixed apple smoothie. Pretty soon I'll need to actually clear stuff out. That and the pepper. Now let's see what nasty thing this comes up with. And... Oh, actually it's just a warm mixed smoothie. Okay. Let's get rid of our weakest options. Potion... I feel like keeping potions. This... Is nothing special. Now there is this one. That might be good if I'm coming back to have her eventually. Especially since it doesn't seem like there's going to be an accessory that negates the need for some sort of cold resistance. This and nectar. Okay. And smoothie. This is just a normal cactus smoothie again. Okay. Then cactus and milk. I got it. This is a milky cactus. Got a mixed milky smoothie. Okay. It's an appetizing bond of assorted flavors, but it's really in a milky smoothie base. I'm not sure I had that one already. Let's actually check. Mil mixed milky smoothie. And oh, that's apple too. Okay. This ends itself. Sure. Cool. Pee. Teensy pinch of... Oh. Smoothie and just another normal way to get a cactus smoothie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonder if we'll need heat resistance in there or that in a rock tato. Alright. This is... What are we gonna get? What do you get? Okay. A mixed climbing smoothie. Let's make another things have been made with the golden most things have been made with the golden eggs most of them are just golden smoothies mm -hmm. this and a rock salt sure okay and the result is a salted cactus salted cactus smoothie this drink makes a sweet sour and salty in perfect harmony the pulp gives its texture it has more fireproof time too cool the salt boosts it, presumably. Interesting. There are only two more ingredients that I do not have access to. I would imagine that a good number of them would probably... At least one of them is going to be in Jabul. Maybe even two, because it's a pretty big place. Pepper just had its pumpkins. So let's go up on the side here. Stay away from the actual sand. Stay on the wall. But I can't get inside Desert Palace yet. It's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just stay away from Southern Village for now. Next time I'm in the area. Here we got a number of things. Yeah. It's rather big. But that said, this seems to be mountain. I'd imagine that a lot of it is just inaccessible. Big mountain bit. Maybe. Habra. Really was nothing here. Final boss, maybe? Final rift? Maybe Tower of Hero just pops up after you clear that rift. That'd be funny. It's totally gone. Especially since it does correspond to Tower of Ganon. That could make some sense. It's to that level of relevant. Okay. Cool, cool. Hmm. Keep on moving. Thing up here that I haven't already seen. No, this is where I came from. Okay, right. Let's go up this part of this wall. Beach basically is. Uh, from around here previously already. But this could be an opportunity to check out the royal spot again real quick 
Let's see if I can find a way to go the other way around now. Someone is tired. Interesting. But I'm a little tired. Let's go in here. And can we go back at all? I... Hmm. I would have climbed the waterfall. Maybe with a water block or something. I wonder if I try to come up through here. Oh. I interesting. Try bridging up a bit, but oh goodness, not like that. Thank you. Oh my lord. Keep messing this up. Okay. Like that and alright. Come on. That I can jump up in there and it doesn't let me go back. It makes sense, but it's still a bit disappointing. Okay. I need to draw some lines in the sand when you spin, and that's fun too. Let's go back up and continue our desert perimeter patrol. Okay. Rid of you. Hmm. Some of a wall. Another stamp. Interesting. And that's two more for the final stamp card. Feels as if this is when a piece of art would start making sense. Okay, so that wall is completely inaccessible then. Let's. Hmm. Oh, baby. Gonna have to get rid of a lot of markers then. Some kind of simplified notation, maybe. They all sort of come in towards the middle here. Just demarcate this whole area. Sure. What else can I afford to unmark now? I... Not that. Hmm. Hmm. Should have got a lot of stuff marked now. Keep on moving, maybe. Hmm. Maybe take a picture. Maybe. It's other rifts mostly getting marked. One in Castletown. Hmm. Big town over there. Yeah, because this is basically where desert ends. And went to the past. Hmm. Can I... for any way to get rid of those sand dunes? That would be interesting. Doesn't seem like it at the moment. But I... Might be some sort of... Twister enemy, maybe? To disrupt the sand dune? Hmm. Well, alright. I think... Get rid of some of these rips, at least. Just take a picture of that for my own record keeping. Okay. Get rid of this. Sure. Move, because that might also allow me to get rid of big snow drifts. Whatever lets me get rid of the sand in the snow pile. I mean, sand pile, or lets, lets me get rid of the sand pile, might also let me get rid of the snow drift. Hopefully. Mark that, sure. Closer ones, that just demarcates that the entire area is kinda screwed. Okay, well, send in the crawl to her and pray that I find a cave soon. That might have a twister enemy and it's somewhere. Some way to disrupt things with the wind. Can't really go up here. Can I get up on this, on this ledge at least? You can. Okay. Well, the crawl toy can. Who knows about me? So I wonder where the actual sandstorm starts. Hmm. Not a lot around here. Table that queerly. The accessible later in. Oh, soldier man. Hey, you're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Only those authorized by the Gerudo chief are allowed to entry. Now go on home. Ouch. 
bookmark that. Like a person, I suppose. And oh, well. Oh, we can already. We just went straight here. Huh? My friends are nearby. Well. But. Guess we can't get here yet. We need to do more story stuff. I can create a rift entrance beneath her. Come on, Zelda. Ah, so we dig in. Oh. Can't come with me, can you? So what should we do? Story progression. Or actually, just dig. I bet. Yeah, we could try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way you can get through the sand. Rift in the Druid Desert. Try to find a place beneath the sand where they may be able to create an entrance into the rift. If someone in the area, there's a way to get under the sand. Well, it... That could work. Hmm. I wonder what the other steps are then. Let's see what the steps are then. True to warriors. So, exhausted from fighting. Monsters pouring out of the rift. Okay. Caves. Oasis. Can't talk to people. Okay. Hmm. I was trying to think. Lots of things around here. Well, can't leave their posts. That's where things basically stop. That's what we skipped over. I should check that at the end of the year, because that actually spoiled me on the appearance of another thing. Let's see what that thing is. Okay, well, it's an interesting thing to try. We can keep on moving through. Yeah, it's a shame that we skipped a lot of that progress, but what can you do? But yeah, I... Sandfish. Let's just mark the center of this group of sand dunes. I, okay. And that just lets you get cactus. That's fun. Aha, uh -huh, that's how you get it. That's cool. Just pick up and throw the actual cactus itself. Hmm. A lot of stuff over here. Two. Just how and when am I gonna get the ability to get rid of the sand? It's gonna be nice either way. I will hold you still and let the Moa kill you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Very risk-free. That's when the sand piranha echo. Vigorous and quick, this fish-like creature swims through sand with ease. It cannot survive in water, however. There's a town over there. Explore around the perimeter and then kind of retrace our steps. Maybe. I want a scorpion. Cool. I... That did not quite work. Okay. They try to charge me or... Ah, you resurface. Like a mini Goma scorpion. Okay. Cool. Keep running with you. Oh, but you gonna hit me? You almost could've. That's when the Aroroda echo. Now, out of the vast and trackless desert comes this one-eyed menace. Has to get behind foes to sting them. Hmm. Aru Aroroda. Hmm. This can't mark that. Let's get back up. So where am I going to get my funny sand dune destroying echo? Anywhere? Here? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. That does kind of make me question. I'll probably take things one step at a time and job roll. Okay. And that already respawned. Okay. Don't need all that many more cactuses, but it's still good to get. Craft it with the potato and the salt. So now we actually do have enough to craft it with everything else we can craft it with right now. I wonder what fireproof would do for it. I mean, the guts would do for it. Some kind of stronger anti-fire effect, maybe. Up here. Up here. And... Hmm. How do I 
do this then. Oh, another stamp. That's fun. There we go. Okay. This way is more blocked off, and this is Gerudo Town. Okay. You have things to tell us. Hello. I don't really want to go through everything here right now. Mm. Can do everything short of going in the dungeon. Oh, a tumbleweed. Okay. Huh. Something I can make an echo of or lock onto it, but. Here we are. Waypoint has been recorded. Now Warp is in the map. This. Can't even. Copy it. What if I whip all of the sconces in here? Look, that might be connected to something. Let's climb up here. Climb. Well, this... No, not really. That didn't quite work. Get up here, then. Trotla. Check this out, and... Oh, well, what do you know? Random... Cave. If this is a cave. Oh, we got something new. That's fun. I... Moa can handle this. Or not, maybe. Huh. Let's... Oh, okay. Only oh, vulnerable on the side. That makes sense. Let's keep you still and not all that hard to kill, though. This is... We're in the Plat Boom Echo. An unusual monster that tries to crush anything that approaches. A brave can ride it to high up places, however. <laughs> Fun. Okay, and... Take you out and probably use her. Crawl to for this, but obviously... The plot boom is intended to just break that stuff. Or we can actually, we should put a plot boom down then. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. Like this. Now we can ride it up. This is where you stop. Quickly crush like this. Fun. That was cool. So, what about you? Oh, so clearly move it. Put the plot boom down. Bind the rock, and as it goes up, we push it in. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. And a piece of heart. Cool. Nice. So. Yeah, before doing any other dungeons, we will be very close to just having. Probably a. 10 heart containers, which again raises the question of how many more dungeons there will be. Everyone's going to have its own heart container. We've already got one. You can see seven or eight more at this point. But of course, the more dungeons there are, the fewer actual just pieces of heart you find there can be. As cool as dungeons are, it, unless you want a really crazy high health bar, and I think this is going to cap it. This has got to cap at 20. It doesn't really seem like there's any way it could cap any higher. Yeah, then that little whip does keep me out and... Oh, well, that... There's a teleport waypoint here. Oh, we got some with... Tornado. Ah, now it's sand. Okay. Now we're up here using the map and... Hello, Toad. Cool. Go ahead, shoot at it. And I... Ah! Uh, when it's in its tornado mode, it's invincible. Okay, well, now we gotcha. Cool. That's... With the Tornado Echo. This mischievous monster quotes itself in a miniature tornado and bursts out from sandstorms to knock those backward. Tornado. And now we can see again. That's good. Cool. Keep it stuck. Thank you. And we got a copy again. There we are. Handle everything this way. Cool. What? Come on. How many of you? How many of you? Oh, boomerang. Boomerangs. Oh, that's funky. I don't like that. Come on, come on. Please. 
but it's pretty dead on in terms of aim, so it's just a matter of staying away long enough for all the kills to work. And there we go, and that's one of the boomerang boarbling. Trying to do some boomerangs, this boarbling more is dangerous both coming and going. Honestly, I wonder if they couldn't have just made them glorious, given that they are using boomerangs, and boomerangs were gory a thing in earlier Zelda games. Okay, should get a little treasure chest from this, right? I think. Go through this encampment, we already got that chest, and oh, hello. Hi there. Hi! Let's trap you. Hey, somewhere we can't submerge yourself in the sand. Thanks. Ah, you draw peppers. Cool. Nice. And, oh, well. That broke. Cool. Noah. Noah. Too far away to do anything, and you won't even try to sing because you're not behind me. Miscalculation, I think. Alright. Should be far away enough. Come on. Oh, we can just get yeah, that treasure chest whenever, though. Oh, but lots and lots of... You guys. Okay, go ahead and shoot, please. Hmm. That was good, but not invincible. Has its weaknesses. Okay, and... Get you. Let's trap you so you can't dig. Good stuff. More and more guy. Oh, that went through the fence. That's nice. Wasn't expecting it though, but it was nice. Drop you, and... Oh, that curved. I don't like that. Go ahead and shoot. Thanks. One more, one more. Thank you. Oh, I forgot it wasn't even... blinded. Okay, more chili peppers. Cool. And we got... Oh, more kinds of boar boy. Hey, boar one level 2, I presume? Oh my lord. That's actually rather frightening. I'm just stay here and keep dodging them. I have a good range, but it's not infinite. Not by a country mile. Just gotta keep trying to dodge. And... Come on. Mm, they are strong. Come on. Wow. There we are. Level 2 Borblin. 2 Boomerang Borblin. Yeah. We're in the boor boomerang board one level two echo. Having mastered the boomerang, this board one is deadly aim. Sharpened boomerangs are quick and accurate. Ah, uh, that should be a good option to for damage. Well, actually, this guy probably be taking out pretty well bombs. I bet we just keep on trying to bomb you until ah uh, we can make sure they hit by getting on the right side of the bombs. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's get you and keep on shooting. Make sure you don't redirect yourself in a way I might not like. Okay. Cool. And just put you on the other side. Good stuff. I. Mm, never mind. Come on, come on. I. Ah. Just spam those bombs. Spam those bombs. Oh, come on. Stop breaking my rock. Okay. Cool. And. Another bomb. Come on. Oh. How much? How much? I. Oh. You really are annoying. Come on, come on. And it seems like. Mo might actually be doing better here. Maybe. I. Mm. Let's keep you. The right direction. Right side of the bomb, and there we go. Another level 2 poor boy. Both of them. This might actually be better than that level 2 sword novel. We're in the club board one level 2 echo. This desert dwelling warrior wields a club and shield, fiercely territorial, will pursue intruders doggedly. Thought it was a boar, not a dog. That's. Oh, some kind of mitt. You got an energy glove. Not sure what this glove is made of, but increase the likelihood that more energy will appear when you defeat dark monsters. And that's. Oh, the belt's just a better version. I didn't even notice the plus. But it doesn't replace the other one, not like the scope did. But of course, you could just equip both of them if you felt like it. And yeah, they are compatible, but for a true sword fighter build, 
Okay, well. Through this little desert passage to find myself some Morblin of the Borblin. Hmm. And around here, otherwise, I will take my leave of this specific place and maybe make some more smoothies. Because now there are yeah, only two more ingredients. Right? Cool. Only two more ingredients to find. And one more stamp to get the final card. That's gonna be interesting. But what I really wonder is... Well, those snowdrifts... So I'm presuming the sand would get dispersed by... A new tornado guy I got. Sand drifts. wonder if snow drifts would do the same. That's what I'm betting on. Maybe not something I should be betting on. Either way, I want to go over and check them out. Okay. Warp. Stay out of the part of the desert that is hard to see in. Trudeau Town's cool, so we'll try out the Tornado. This is interesting. I... Yep, it does get rid of this one. What are the sand dune? Get a 50 rupee for trouble. Get that. Okay. Let's bet our way out. Cool. Get up here. Right. Send a tornado over. See how this works. If we get rid of all of this, I feel like something is going to show up. Oh, well, you got sent somewhat far away. Okay, nice. Actually, I want to see. What if I the tornado and... All it does is move things, so it's really just a utility monster. Well, we got the ability to do something new, which is get rid of these piles. I do feel like going back and checking out Snowdrift now. Okay, and another one. Cool. There's Moa. Well, actually, let's try to call Borbun. And that, it's rather aggressive. And Boomerang. I wonder how the Boomerang can go in the air or not. It's another piece of heart. Nice. Cool. And... Like that ends. Another review. Okay, cool. Send this in. Oh, we can, oh, we can make multiple. Dang. One. Two. And yeah, they are strong. wonder how well the Sword Moblin would do. If Club Moblin's basically kind of a reskin. Or if it's better. Let's remove that pin. Check a few more dunes. Okay. That's nothing. Okay. Nothing burger. And just like that. Oh, okay, well. Let's just see how well you'll do. Can you dig into here and come up on the top? Yeah, you can come up on the top layer. Well, that's fun. Not really. Come on. And oh, goodness. Right. Okay. Come on, come on. And. So it does seem that they do the same. Damage. Okay. So let's try out that other kind of pile. Let's take a look and see if I can get rid of the snowdrifts over there. Could be another place to explore in Havra. Okay. This way we can fit through, which is nice. They didn't let me do that, I'd be a little bothered. Thank you. Nothing. Okay. Get rid of that marker then. Look over for the other sand dunes and... Oh, that's right, I can pick this up right now, that is true. But even in theory, find a redad. Sure. Alright, cool. So that's... A red rupee. Okay. It, I wonder what else I'm going to need rupees for soon. Get all the 
smoothie recipes made. And I guess it would just be to make smoothies I want to make without needing to actually get the ingredients first. It's an idea. And oh, well, here's our micro crystal. Thank you. Well, that's good and all. Oh, 39. Huh. Another sand dune down here. That's nothing. Let's go check the snowdrift then. Been around most of this, not really. Not in town, but we've been here. A little bit of here. Sand area. Actually, not all that much. I do want to just check the snowdrift. See if I can use a tornado to clear that up. It's, it's the same kind of thing. It should operate under the same fundamental principle, right? Maybe. Okay, let's get our braziers going. Cool. Alright. Nobody's in there at the moment, but... Moment of truth, moment of truth. What will this be? And... Uh -huh. That doesn't work. So it might just be story progress for some better fire, maybe. Maybe I just need to actually be able to use the fire wizard. Room. Okay. Well, we can make a few more smoothies now. Okay. Yee. Yee. This ends butter. Okay. Pee. Pee. This and that and mix it up. Your smoothie. And this is got a mixed radiant smoothie. Complex blend of flavors with a creamy succulent base. Get rid of this, sure. A lot of these can be gotten rid of. Okay. Cactus and pumpkin. Thank you. Cactus and guts and horn. There's kinds of potions, presumably. Smoothie. This is a... It's another cactus smoothie. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Get rid of that, I suppose. Cactus and guts. P. This will be... A... A chili potion. Drink this ice cold potion can prevent burns even when touching flames. Fireproof for more time. I wonder what the fang would do then. This and a fang. Less, more. Uh, indeterminate. Okay. So the answer is. Oh! Nothing. You need it to be a high level. The only thing that gives you multiple options would be the pepper for anti ice. Interesting. Ice proof versus just cold resistance. Probably because cold is really crucial. Golden and. Let's try golden and milk. Sure. It's gotta do everything eventually. Is it just gonna be a normal golden or golden with milk? And it's just a normal golden smoothie. Yeah, okay. Yep, there was nothing more than just 20 hearts of replenishment. But of course, with something else, you could get something more. There's kinds of golden options, because they're all full health. Popping hot. Electro and Rapid. Yeah. Cool. These are my options there. So we can go back to a bit of the desert, especially now that the snow drifts are confirmed to not really break open all that easily. Desert temples are there, another cave is there, we got the oasis. Someone should have some kind of quest. <laughs> Gerudo Town. I think that we could kind of stay out of Gerudo Town until we want to do story progress, because that would truly be actually doing story progress. Well, let's try to keep my cool and figure out where I am. Let's keep track of my location. <clears throat> okay. Slam, good stuff. Find more caves along the way. This is a cave I've already been in. Okay. Chest I haven't gotten yet though. Cool. Nice. Let's get this. And 
Drop you, and thank you. I oh, come on. Thanks. Got you, and peppers. Peppers. Slam, there we go. Nice. This is... Hey, just a red rupee. Okay. Fair enough. Come on, come on. Yeah, but the desert temple is currently blocked off by the rifts. Inside, we would need a little bit more. Okay. By the way, well, never mind. I, okay. Aw, you are moving all around. Okay. Desert temple. Some sand over there. Oh, okay, more things to get with a tornado. But, oh, well, there you are. Thanks. We will smack you. That's a nice option, it seems. Cool. Hello there. So tired. Oh, so the story stuff there still happens. The monsters just keep coming completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. If we do this, we'll get rid of that rift and take that Gerudo Sanctum. That's what it's called. Monsters that crawl out of the rifts are tough. I'm exhausted from all the fighting. Although I've been thinking, I heard the rift in the southern forest is gone now. I hope the ones here in the desert get fixed up soon too, then maybe we can catch a break. Which has shown up all across the desert ever since our sanctum got pulled into one. So in shock about the sanctum, we've got to get rid of the rifts as soon as possible. People in here. See if they knew what it's saying? Our town is west of here, you should check it out, but everyone's on edge there due to the rifts. I heard there's a lot of trouble outside the desert too, but we got our hands full here. Hmm. What quest have I done today? Hydrazoles. It was just the Hydrazoles, right? Yeah. Did get a cool Moa. Hmm. Alright. Keep on moving, and once the sand gets really sandy, Lord knows what'll happen. Come on. I... Ah, well that... Basically, keep it still. No, it won't. Okay. Come on. All right. Go ahead. Let's get smacked. Oh, surprisingly durable. It's three hits. Use that to sort of test which one is strongest if we felt like it. If it's on a piranha. I, never mind. I, okay. Come on. Hit. Spatch you. Thank you. Cool. Hmm. Stuff here, let's check out the area around the Oasis and what was and went to the past the desert temple. But again, we cannot get inside here yet. Well, given how small the eastern palace was, I wonder how big it would even be. That is an entrance. Side entrance in went to the past, but clearly you can't get inside that way now. Yeah. Would go out and then return back inside. Going in and out more or less. Okay. Well, clearly that's going to be rock territory. Let's grab that if I haven't already. Thank you. And is that you kind of Baba? Probably not. Okay. Blow that up. Thank you, my crystal. That's. My 40th. Wow. Gotta wonder how many more there could even be left in the game. But yep, can't do anything in Desert Temple until... Imagine I could get inside after the rift was gone, though it might require, well, though it would require some climbing. Rather than just being able to waltz up like you could in a link to the past. Okay, so Oasis is here. There's the Sanctum. We can beat up the Reedheads around there, I suppose. And there isn't much left here. We can clear out everything except the town that call it a day, I suppose. So, Club Borblin. Hi! Okay. Go ahead, paralyze. Thanks. Okay. Ooh, okay, cool. Come on, come on. That's bothersome. But, eventually, death will come. Okay. Nice. Oh, a cave. And, how much? Come on. Well, you take a lot of punishment. Feel as if range would do better here anyway. Alright. How do I even 
do this then. Probably just DPSing down with the Maw. You keep your range, you can... Oh, that still stops me. Okay, whatever. Come on, well that did it, but you're still so resilient. You've learned the read at Echo. Mostly wandering the Gerudo Desert, this unsettling creature screams and flees enemies in their tracks. Yeah, that works. Nice. Another sand piranha was around here. Hello. Hi. Can that hit? Can you hit? No, not right now. Okay. Come on. Alright, alright. There we go. How many hits will it take? And. Okay, the Claw Borboin is. Oh, Borbun level 2 seems to just be the same thing again. Oh, Dark Redhead? Oh, that's ridiculous. That's legitimately ridiculous. So I... The best way to take you out even be. So it feels if sending in an Ignazol to just burn you and let fire do the job would be good. Yeah... I feel like it might even be specifically effective, given how it's undead. It's really just a corpse, and yeah, it seems that fire is effective. That's cool. It's even a rapid kicks that don't require me to keep stuff up. All right, right outside the sanctum, and it ah scorpions. Okay, cool. All right, All right. how about you stay there, not in the sand? Cool, I- alright. Thanks. So many rips around here. Hmm. Let's go in that cave and send in an Ignazol or something, but- oh no, you're- you're doing your thing. Come on. I, oh my goodness. I, all right, I- not like that. Get over here. This is rather annoying. Come on. And go- no. Not close enough, or what? I, okay, come on. Okay, there we, there we go. Okay, cool. Kill, kill, please. Kill. Okay, we need some kind of smoothie. Let's take... It's the mixed milky, it's only health, so... Not much to lose from that. Just gonna... Toss fire at you. Come on, I, Oh, but... So you're frozen in place. This is a little annoying. Just gotta get the fire down and there we are, fire is good. Yeah, we can keep the fire on you and gotta come on. Yep. Let's keep the fire up. Fire. Fire. Come on. Because it's a bit like a give go then. Especially since Gibdos and other Zelda games are literally just redads with mummy bandages, which means... Okay, well, it's scoffed, but it does seem like just gradually burning them down is going to be one of the better options for dealing with them. Okay, cool. 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 Let's get inside that cave, wherever it is. Hi. Okay. Open that. And, okay, more cactuses. Ten pieces of cactus. Okay. All right. I go. Just gonna keep. Okay. Time that better. I maybe keeping things with it. There we go. Maybe. Mm hmm. Yep. You just keep them close and keep tossing them and should be able to keep it occupied by just continually lighting them on fire. As long as we got two, we should be good. Yeah, that is a good way to take them down. Okay, nice. Go in that cave then. Also, kill that piranha. Sand piranha. Oh. Still would have to fight that dark monster if I had anything to say about it. It, there's no special reward. This is... What's in here? Hmm. That's something heavy. Block it. Ice block. That gets stuck. Something heavy. 
Get stuck. Bemos? Firework? Firework moves. Temper Twiwas? Doesn't move, but doesn't block it. Okay. Bemos? Bemos? Ah! Bemos blocks it! Most useful this thing has been for me, honestly. Okay. Not down. Not down. Oh, we could probably use these Gerudo pots too. They're especially heavy. Let's just see. Vibrant colors. Well, plainly, you just bed bridge over. Okay. And this is a. You the wind cannon echo. An arcane device that continually blows a strong wind straight ahead that can disperse sand or extinguish flames. That's another option in the tornado guy for getting rid of sand like that. But of course, I would imagine that's actually a bit more useful here. A few things a bit more easily, but it might. Okay, can do stuff under, so this is just the gust bellows. Incredible. Right. I love it. Oh, there's scorpions here. Okay. Cool. I will put a club board one down and... Come on. I... Alright. Can I drop you? No, that's an Ignazole. Club board one. How did I even get to the Ignazole thing? Whatever. And there we are. There's a switch, but there's also another archway. Let's get to the Oasis. Thank you, this is- oh, multiple of these guys. Okay, cool. Let's fight you. I'm doing much, well, it doesn't damage me, but it knocks me around. That's also annoying. Okay, come on. Can't try multiple at once. Okay, luckily, it's not that bad. Just wait till you use your tornado mode, because you really are just like do with enemies and tornado enemies and Kirby then invincible land like the tornado ability invincible warrior oh so fewer rock tornadoes because they're kind of rare here then invincible while they're in the tornado form and what's this this is okay my crystals that's cool it all 42 mm -hmm. I feel as if, in terms of the number I've used versus what I could be using, I've used twenty-five so far. So I've gotten sixty-seven in total. Interesting. All right, let's get 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 out of here. It's... Monsters shouldn't be back yet. It's not the major ones. Cave right there that we went into. Got cops of trees. Cool. Now that I wouldn't say it's necessarily better than the tornado enemy, but requires a bit less thought to employ. Which is not necessarily a bad thing then. And I And okay, it's just scorpions, that's good. Okay, cool. And Go ahead, go ahead. Come on. Make sure the other one doesn't get me from behind. I... Alright. Cool, cool. I... Okay. Come on. Come on. A jump strike is useful too. Come on. Thank you. Big and strong. Which I don't like. Come on. Another smack. There we go. Cool. Keep a nice distance from that thing. A few more of these sand piranhas. Come on. Hit ya. Keep you still while our... Oh, I didn't even notice she does a little hand motion. A little beckoning, that's fun. Hmm. I think we've mostly gone around here. There might be a bit here, maybe? Let's see, here's the oasis. Could be nice to see if there's a teleport waypoint there, but... I don't know. I feel like that would maybe be overkill. Maybe. Come on. 
Just take them out. Take them all out, please. I'm just gonna keep spinning around until... Something. Yeah, it's one three. Okay. Cool. Cool. Check a little bit more. Just to make sure. Should be good here. Just rest a bit of the oasis and we should be hot to trot. Come on, come on. Anything here? No. We got those sand dunes and... Yep, this stuff was already obtained and it was just the annoying redads. So to get under the sand, it's going to be another whole thing. Okay. Yep, and there's another teleport point right here, which is really close to that sanctum. So it's patch of quicksand up there. The town itself that I still need to explore. Then, of course, a bunch of stuff in Jabal Waters, but just counting. Fun. Mark this area with a heart, because there are a bunch of people in it. Cool. And... Before I really do any talking, I think... This is a rather good stopping point. So Oasis, Quicksand, Gerudo Town. I'll leave Gerudo Town, and then... Village and all. We're this way. By the Eastern Palace. All of this stuff should be Zora's domain, basically. Lots of things in here, because we got Oasis, we got Sanctum in the town. But this is four things. It's kind of crazy. So I think that'll be where I stop. Decent amount was accomplished today. So, yeah. Just for everyone is still here and there. Mm. So, yeah, close things off. What was right that rift over there? Cool. Thank you very much, and yeah, see you on the right again.